The Pat Kenny Show. With Energia. Energising homes and businesses all across Ireland. News Talk 106 to 108. With significant drops in the price of oil, Irish motorists and homeowners are finally able to avail of significant savings. However, car insurance and broadband rates are increasing, so how can you get a better deal overall for you and your family? Your Money is a 16-page supplement in this morning's Irish Independent, and it offers expert advice to home and car owners looking to make uh, more savings in 2016. And Charlie Weston, personal finance uh, uh, expert with the Irish Independent, is with me now. Charlie, good morning. Good morning, Pat. Now, first of all, um, this is a great supplement because you, you, you go through it in uh, the, the categories, mortgages and uh, motoring and all the rest of it. But let's start, first of all, with the price of oil. How much are we currently saving? If these prices were to be maintained throughout 2016, how much more money in the pocket? I, it's a fair bit, Pat, and it depends on where you go. There's a fair bit of price variation out there. But I suppose diesel, petrol, they're down about 30, 33 cents a litre. Uh, translates into probably over a year about 600 euros, probably 20, 25 euros on, on the fill. Uh, if you're filling up the, the, the car. So that's a great advantage. You know, even though the government takes a big whack of tax out of uh, um, the, the fuel you put into your car, uh, I think motorists in total, I was producing figures this week showing motors, motorists beti- between petrol, diesel, carbon tax, excise duty, VAT, uh, road tax, motorists are now contributing about 5 billion euros to the exchequer every year. So one, it's nice. One in 10. So it's nice that we're getting something back. We're getting, getting something back inadvertently diesel. due to the international uh, petroleum market. But then, motor insurance up motor insurance gone through the roof the, the single biggest riser uh, all, all year last year uh, and the official figures from the CSO say that motor policies are up about 31% in the last year and what the are predictions the insurers are saying? Keep going. unfortunately they, they're, they're saying they'll keep going up now they're not supposed to be saying that that's kind of uh, almost encouraging each other to keep increasing prices it's anti-competitive and they have been warned by the competition authority to stop talking like that but look at ask anybody who knows about it and they'll tell you the insurers are losing money uh, they, they made some very bad decisions they, they underpriced it didn't reserve enough so you know, policies are going to go up I'm afraid so you know you've got to look at your options here there's a few things you can do Pat what? Uh, well for example does it, does, does, does telematics is it something that's coming into this market now it's where you, uh, you, you you sign up for an app and it monitors your driving you know in the original ones of these were something you got put into the engine now you can just do it with a smartphone a mobile phone you, lo- you log into the app it monitors how good a driver you are you're going very fast so you speeding a lot are you a careful driver if you're a careful driver you can, you can qualify for discounts of up to 25% on your policy AIG offered that one I okay. think that's a smart one uh, there's another one you know uh, there's, a, there's a company out there called It's For Women now they market at women but they can't stop you no. uh, as a man getting their policies it would and be we, discriminatory and in fact exactly. that's why women's policies went up because they used to be you know one careful lady owner would get a better deal than one young yes. uh, mad about town man a young boy racer if you like yeah. that yeah and, and they've had to stop uh, giving better deals to women because it's this EU gender directive which means that everybody has to be charged the same irrespective of sex but women statistically you're right are still the, the, you know they have fewer accidents make fewer claims so they get a better deal so a company that focuses on them is able to offer a better deal but if you're a man they can't turn you down Would you recommend using a broker to get the best I deal? I would yeah I mean and just just, I'll just quickly mention one other option there's, there's one company out there offering you a two year deal where if you sign up now uh, when you go to renew next year it's the same price even if you've had a is claim Is that blue? That's blue, blue insurance yeah. exactly yeah, I think I saw the ads, so yeah, it must be effective. It's, it's an option as well. But yeah, go to a broker because it's a complicated business and, uh, you know, they, they they can guide you through it. I mean, don't accept the renewal do you? because you, you, they're trying it on. We're absolutely crazy. Always have a go. At the moment. Always have a go. All right, um, warming your home then. Any yeah. savings to be made there? But there should be bigger savings here, Pat, because what we're seeing is an absolute collapse in the, in the wholesale inputs that, that energy companies use. You know, wholesale gas, for example, which is big input uh, for, for, for energy companies. It's down about 29% on the last year's prices. If, if, if you look at the average price in January uh, this year and compare it with the last three years, the wholesale price is down about 40%. So how much savings. trouble is it to change? Because you might see these special offers for uh, newcomers or even returnees to a particular energy company uh, and they qualify for great discounts or whatever. How much trouble is it to change supply? one of the easiest things to do really, Pat, and it's, 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 it's actually shocking that more people don't do it. Only 15% of people do it. And even though wholesale prices are down, the energy 
energy companies are not giving across the board cuts, they're giving tiny cuts. What they are doing is offering huge discounts to people who are savvy and are prepared to switch and have the time and get over that inertia. You can save 26%. You can save over 200 euros on your electricity. And it's easy. You ring them up you, with, with, with your details off your bill, your, 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 your meter point uh, uh, reference number. Uh, it's on your bill. And, and you'll have to probably sign up for a direct debit, so you need your bank details. Get a, get a meter reading uh, so you can give them that. And it's, it's and that's it. If you're on a variable rate, you're free to move. Now, you, you know, you obviously have, there's legal fees and there's uh, valuations and other things, but a lot of them will offer you an incentive. They'll cover that cost. It's the hassle people don't want it. They don't want the hassle it of it. Uh, it's a big... It's big psychologically, it is a big one, but look, we should really do it. Okay, health insurance. Now, yeah. we, we, we often cover it uh, here with Dermot. Good, he's great on, uh, you know, the offers, mm. but there are so many plans. It's mind-blowingly complicated. There's something like 418 plans. Now, the good news, Pat, is that they're all regulated now, all four of them, the VHI, which means that they have to observe certain rules, and you should remind them of this. They are, uh, there's a statutory rule that the central bank uh, who regulate health insurers has called the, the Code of Conduct, uh, uh, the Consumer Protection Code, rather, the Consumer Protection Code, which means that if you ring them up and ask them for, for their advice, they have to furnish you with the best available advice and the most appropriate product. They have to kind of investigate your circumstances. So, they, so don't just renew on what you're on. You may get a better deal and remind them that they are regulated entities, that, that, the, that the call is being recorded, and that, that this can all be re- referenced back if they're not giving you a good mm. deal. There are things that the upgrade rule, what's that? Yeah, I mean, you'd be, just be careful if, you, if you're switching from a policy with maybe different levels of benefits. Uh, you know, and there's an upgrade rule there, which means that if you have a pre-existing condition and you're going to a plan with better benefits, the, the health insurer might say, well, actually, look, at, you'll have to go through a waiting period before we cover you for that. And the young adult rule? Young adult rule, it's, 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 it's um, their discounts that are available to young adults. Don't forget that that's available and you should avail of them. And young adult rates, they call them, uh, they're out there. People may not know about them. So always ask about these things. You need to be equipped with some information when you're going getting on to health insurers. That's why we've got two pages on health insurance in the Irish Independent. Okay. And, and finally, uh, TV, internet, broadband... Yeah, huge number of deals out there now, you know, and especially this is a good time to switch, Pat, because um, Air and Virgin Media are both putting up their multi-subscription bundle yeah. rates, you know, uh, but there are a whole host of, of offers out there, you know, there's Sky, there's, there's Pure Telecom, there's uh, uh, Magnum, um, and there's options, so you, you have options, and if you're with, 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 with Aircom, Air, as they call them now, or if you're with uh, Virgin Media, You've 30 days from the time being notified about price increases to go and look for another, look for another without one. any penalty for breaking out yeah. your, your pro- contract. And, and you know these great deals for the first six months it costs you, and then the fine print tells you, well, after six months you're going to pay a hell of a lot more. Yeah. How long do you have to sign up to, to, to benefit? Can you, after six months, thanks for the cheapness, now I'm off to somebody well, else. Well, that, that's the problem here. They suck you in, you're right, absolutely right, Pat, with a very good uh, six month at, at 40 euros for a bundle of maybe TV and broadband and phone calls and and then it goes doubles, you know. So and they t- they tend to want to sign you up for a year. So look at the, the thing to do look is look at the uh, annual look cost. At how much is coming over a full year? And then make a note in your smartphone uh, to remind you switch off to somebody, switch over to somebody else. All right, Charlie. Uh, your money is the supplement that Charlie has put together. Sixteen pages in this morning's Irish Independent. Uh, Charlie Weston, thank you very much for joining us. Still to come between now and twelve thirty, more on the politics of the day. Uh, we speak to a Trinity scientist who wants to explore why some. Some of us are immune to certain viruses. We get our hands on the smart headphones that are waterproof and noise cancelling. A Scottish musician, Eddie Reader, will be in studio performing live. And human rights campaigner Peter Tatchell on why he's changing his mind on the Asher's Bakery appeal. Uh, text us on 53106, call 1894-53106. You can join the conversation on Twitter with hashtag PKNT. But now at 11.03, it's over to the newsroom and Nolene Leddy. <laughs> Thanks, Pat. The Taoiseach has called a general election and called a general election.